What if I told you a human didn't make this sim, but instead it was created by artificial intelligence? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking on this video. If you're curious how on earth AI was able to create a whole sim, be sure to keep watching. If you've been on the internet, then you know that AI is taking over and us humans will soon perish and be forced to live in hiding indefinitely. I'm just kidding, but AI really is getting smarter and this free to use AI chatbot is just one of the examples of how intelligent AI really is. Also how close our impending doom is. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Life and DC and today we are playing the AI Creator Sim Challenge. As far as I know, no one's done this yet, so I am the creator of this challenge. Um, as far as I know, if someone has done it, please leave a comment down below and tell me who it is. But I created this challenge because of the hype that came with ChatGPT and I want to see how good it was. Can ChatGPT make a sim? Let's find out. We're going to test to see if ChatGPT can create a character, a sim, and I am going to try to recreate that exact sim that the AI has created. So here we are on ChatGPT. So on the screen, you can just see my previous test for ChatGPT. I wanted to test its capabilities. Can it really create a character that's tangible enough for me to recreate into The Sims? So I'm going to ask it the exact same questions on a completely new chat so that we get completely different answers and we'll see as we go along what our sim ends up turning out like. Okay, so the first two are the same but the last one is different. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna stick with this. I'm not gonna regenerate a response. We actually can't start doing anything yet. So I'm going to ask another, I'm going to ask the next question which will determine how our character looks and from there we can start so our character is gonna have brown hair green eyes and a fair skin color. okay so we have the beginnings of our sim so i asked the ai to tell me the eye shape and the face shape also so we have almond shaped eyes for our sim and it gives a description of what that means as well as an oval face shape and it also gives a description of the characteristics for that so we're going to hop straight into create a sim and get started creating our ai sim so if you remember the first prompt is that they have brown hair green eyes and fair skin so let's start by giving our sim the fairest skin of them all I'll go with this one i like this fair skin tone she kind of already has that oval face that's in the third prompt but let's go on to her eye color and shape so she has almond shaped eyes So we have our lovely almond eyes. I'm gonna make them slightly bigger. I just feel like, you know, make it look really cute and adorable. We need to give her green eyes. So let's find a nice green eye color. We've got quite a few eye colors as you can see. I don't even know what half of them are. Okay, I think I'm going to give her this sort of green eye. I really, really like it. I think it's very nice, very cute. So she already has quite an overly face. She also has a very flat face, actually. Her cheeks are the, her biggest feature, like it said. Her head length needs to be longer than her um, width, which I believe it is. Just made a teeny bit longer, just in case. Okay, guys, so this is our base. Well, this is the AI's base. I'm just going to do some skin details. So I don't think the AI is going to know that I've got skin details. So I'll be right back as soon as I finish doing that as well. Okay, I have done her skin details. 
now it's time to go back to the AI ChatGPT and find out what her hairstyle is going to be. So I'm about to ask the AI what hair texture, hair length and hair style this character should have. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so we've got wavy shoulder length hair in the lowered bob. So the wavy shoulder length hair is exactly the same as it, what it was last time, I believe. But last time we didn't add, ask it for a hairstyle, so I'm just going to take this answer and we're going to run with it and we're going to see what we create. Okay, so we have our hairstyle. It is a short, it's a shoulder length wavy bob. I should have something along those lines. <laughs> It's shoulder length, see, touching her shoulders. It's wavy. And personally, I say it's a bob. We also have this one, which I like how it looks on her a bit more, and it does give me artist vibes, but it's a bit shorter than shoulder length. So I might go over, I might not. So I think we will go with this hairstyle so now i've asked the ai what type of makeup does this character enjoy wearing oh wow so this ai is going into depth okay so i am excited so we're going minimalist we're going natural natural glow neutral and earthy tones with a nice pink or nude lipstick i'm really excited for this let's see how it turns out okay so let's move on to her makeup as you saw from the ai she wears neutral minimalistic makeup and we're going for earthy tones so i'm talking the browns i'm talking the other earthy colors like the oranges the reds all that jazz what does this look like oh that is not simple not simple at all <laughs> why are all my makeup so over dramatic this could work it's a bit more subtle a bit more natural looking it's also very earthy and the way she's done it gives me artistic vibes as well which i really like it complements her face a lot so we're gonna go with that it didn't mention eyeliner but i'll just i'll just give her like a little bit or maybe i can give her a more creative eyeliner to go with her artsiness but maybe with more neutral tones if i can i don't know i might just give her a normal eyeliner i want her to look like she you know she's put on moisturizer she's glowing because it did say she had like a shimmering moisturizer or something like that i want it to be quite a natural shimmer in fact i think i've got like highlights here like this oh but it cracking <laughs> i don't really know how else to explain that so this brightens up the face at the top making her shimmer a little bit as if you know she's got that moisturizer on because remember it is just a moisturizer it isn't actually like a highlight so i think this could work so let's move on to her lips oh this is cute this is like a pink i really like that i think she looks pretty good what do you guys think of the ai's creation so far next is fashion so this is the one I'm most scared about because I'm not very good at replicating fashion styles as well as I have to repl replicate her hobbies into her fashion style. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here we have the character might enjoy wearing a casual, comfortable and practical style of fashion. Thank the Lord because this is going to be so much easier to make it practical for hiking and make it colourful for the painting aspect. Because um, I don't need to think about flowy this or like imagine if she got something like she loved wed wearing wedding dresses all the time like how do i mix a wedding dress and hiking if someone can do that please let me know and please send it to me I, I think i'm going to go more on the cozy comfortable but still practical i don't think she'd wear jeans if she's hiking personally i wouldn't but she might i don't know what people wear hiking because i don't go hiking but let's see what we can do okay so let's start with her head area even though her head usually you end with the accessories but you know what i want to i want to try and match the outfit to her accessories it mentioned casual and comfortable but it also mentioned having some statement jewelry pieces and it specifically mentioned a colorful scarf so she likes reading and when i hear reading i think of reading glasses that you can buy for like a pound at like i don't know b&m or poundland or something like that 
so i'm thinking maybe she could wear some really cool and cute glasses um i don't know what shape she'd go for maybe circular Ooh, she does she really does suit a circular frame and now i want to give her a statement jewelry i feel like she would definitely be an erin kind of girl that's really cute okay ai i see you i see you um i'm tempted to give her a beret just to push the fact that she's an artist and the, also the fact that it looks so cute on her what the heck love that but i will say that to the end if i do give it to her because i don't know what color she's going to be wearing and stuff so we shall see you know she can't look too mismatched Like, I want to keep her artsy and colourful, but I also want to keep the whole neutral vibe she goes with. Okay, you know what? Change of plan. We're going to start with the bottoms. <laughs> to my dismay, OBS decided it no longer wanted to record live footage of what was going on on my screen. This unfortunately means that you will not get to see me choose The Sims' final outfit, but you will get to see me talk to ChatGPT and ask what career The Sim will do. This helps influence what aspiration I give this sim and you'll also get to see ChatGPT naming this sim which I wasn't expecting it to be able to do. So keep watching, it's still worth the last, I don't know, five minutes? Wow, so it's along the same lines because this is kind of the same character as it created last time but what's really interesting is that it's given us the careers and why this character would love the careers is explaining to us based on the characteristics that's given the sim why would love certain jobs We've got graphic designer landscape architect environmental educator conservation no, conservation biologist wow wow that's really cool so let's look at our aspiration choices so she's definitely going down more of the nature route maybe she'd be an eco innovator a better greener community she does look like she'd be an eco innovator okay now we're gonna do some likes and dislikes so we already know some of the activities she likes we know that she enjoys painting so i don't think logic's an option you can't enjoy logic which baffles me i feel like you should be able to enjoy reading lastly we are going to ask the ai to give us her favorite color and the color she despises can the ai come up with a cool name that suits the sim well let's go find out awesome so she likes the color green which is pretty cool before my character did not like neon green <laughs> it was very specific that it did not like neon green and it liked her favorite color is blue but this time her favorite color is green and it tells us why you can have a read of why her favorite color is green the ai is putting a lot of thought into the sim you know ai really cares for the sim <laughs> so now let's find out the color they do not like wow <laughs> ai got deep it was like no gray here no gray things on this side of the field this character might not particularly be fond of the color gray gray is often associated with dullness lack of energy and emotion and it could be that this character associates grey with a lack of life and vitality oh my gosh okay so she doesn't like grey i don't think i've put her in any grey i feel like i should have done this before i started dressing her imagine i put her in her least favorite color um i might change her headband to green so it incorporates more of her favorite color into her outfit and lastly let's find out what this character will be called okay emma green i actually really like that name. i feel like she is definitely emma she does look a little she does give me an emma vibe and if not that she at least definitely gives me surname green vibe so the ai has created emma green completely i just followed his commands today the ai was the human and i was the programmable computer okay let's let's finish emma off and really bask in her glory thank you all so so much for watching this video again obs decided not to record the ending for this video but as you can see here are some screenshots of emma green the sim that the ai created how do you think the ai did what changes would you have made given the ai's prompts and how do you think i should do this next time what do you think would be a good idea to get a really random response from the ai and get the ai to make the perfect sim 
Let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.